Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of metric units, specifically how we can convert different metric units and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. And so when we're dealing with a metric system, you realize that everything within the metric system is based on tens. And so it's going to look very much like our place value system here. We have different prefixes for different place values. So right here we have what we call our base. And it's going to represent the one's place. It's either going to be meters, liters, or grams. Those are the three units that we use in the metric system. Meters for length, liters for volume, and grams for mass. And then if we think of this as the one's place, if we have ten of our base unit, then we can call it a deca. And so it has the prefix deca, and the abbreviation is DA. And then that's the one's place, the tens place. We come over here, we have hecto, that's H, that's the hundreds place. And then most of you are familiar with kilo, whether it be a kilogram, kiloliter, or kilometer, sometimes pronounced kilometer, that means a thousand. And so we have different prefixes for ten, hundred, and thousand, deca, hecto, and kilo. Then also on the other side of the decimal, if it gets too small here, we have one-tenth, and that's deci. Then we have centa, and we're pretty familiar with centimeter or centigram. That means one hundredth, because that's in the hundredths place. And then milla, like millimeter, is one thousandth. It takes one thousand millimeters to take one meter. And so if we look at the metric system and think of it as a place value chart, we range from a thousand from kilo all the way down to thousandth, which is milli. Now, how do we keep these? different prefixes in order, well, you'll notice we have a little mnemonic on the bottom of the screen. Kings hate dragons because dragons create messes. Look at the first letter of each of these. The K in kings is going to represent our kilo here. H in hate is hecto. The first dragons is deca. You see this B in because? That's going to be base because it can either be a meter, a liter, or a gram. Then we have dragons again, create masses, DCM, that's deci, centa, and milli. So when you're converting units in the metric system, set up this place value chart real quick using this phrase, kings hate dragons because dragons create masses, and then it's really easy to change units. Let me show you how it's done. So let's say we have 29 liters, and we want to convert that into milliliters. Well, we're going to put our 29 on our place value chart, and our ones place is going to go wherever our unit is right here. So 29 liters. So we're going to build it right there because that's our base right there. So this is 29 liters, and we need to move it over to the milliliters. So let's take our decimal, which happens to be right there, come over once, twice, three times, and we move it over three times. So we have three blanks, and that's going to be three zeros. So it's 29,000 milliliters. That's the same as 29 liters because each liter has a thousand milliliters. So let's say we have 3.8 centigrams and we want to change it into decagrams. Well, how we put it on the place value chart is you find what's in the ones place. So this three is in the ones place right here. That's going to go in your prefix. So the three is going to go in the centa. So once we have that, we can build our number. So 3.8. Now, we need to get the decimal over to the decagrams so that we have uh, decagrams is in the ones place. So we're going to move over one, two, we're going to go three right there. We're going to put a zero in the ones place right there. And we're going to put zeros in our two blanks here. So 3.8 centigrams is the same as 0 0.0038 or 38 ten thousandths decagrams. Now it's time for you to try. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can make these two conversions here. And when you have your answers, unpause the video and check your work. So our first conversion is in yellow. That four is in the one spot. So we put that in the kilo spot. We move it over to the meters. We get 4,800. In the second one, it's in red. That zero right there is in the one spot. So we put that in our milla. We move it over to the liters and we get 0 0.4 or four tenths of a liter. 